Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back, and we're pulling a weapon out of the vault that it's not very competitive, but it's on the closer end of competitive for this archetype. So we're talking about fast firing hand cannons, and today we're talking about the Water Star from Trials of Osiris. You can get it right now uh, as a drop from the gold package, I believe, in the Trials of Osiris bounties. But again, it's like Thorn. So if you take Thorn, uh, this was with aggressive ballistics. The Water Star kind of beats it out with it. But if you put on Accurize for a little bit more range, it kind of edges it out and everything. But uh, the big deal with the Water Star is when you get it, it comes with Range Finder and Reinforced every single time. So we have 49 range right here, and we'll talk about that in a second. So there's the 49 range, then you add on Range Finder. The last node is either like Army of One. There's only four perks that you can come, but you want Hidden Hand. Um, let's take the thorn or let's take like this palindrome the base palindrome range is 39 so it's 10 more and of course the palindrome can hit cap at 62 and this thing's really nice by the way it's a sure shot relentless tracker rifled hidden hand palindrome i could do a gameplay with it and talk about it if you've never seen a palindrome gameplay in your life i'll do that just let me know uh, but where the water star so again that's 62 we have 49 it should be like in theory 54 53 to 55 range, which is good, especially for this particular archetype of hand cannon. Now, uh, where, where it really shines is going to be its hidden stats. And again, it should be like 24, 25 meters, 26 maybe. Uh, I haven't done the actual like damage drop-off numbers, but probably 24, 25 is going to be where it's going to be uh, very good. Uh, but where it really shines is its hidden stats. It's got a 90 aim assist, and with hidden hand, that's 95. And then it's got a uh, 100 recoil direction. So what that means is it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't do anything crazy. When you shoot it, it's the same recoil animation every single time. And the best examples, like I always use, Rumble. are the Ice Lunas and the Hawk Moons. Perfect. Those kind of go off a little bit to the side. And uh, we are playing Rumble. Enemy is Rumble's a little tough nowadays. Um, I can't wait for the sidearm change to happen. We missed shots, but that's okay. Uh, but again, kind of look at this thing when it shoots. It's the same thing every single time. So I don't mind spamming this weapon. We're getting pinched, so we're just going to get out of there. We're going to come up to mid. Those guys are going to duel it out. And maybe we can come up behind the weak one right now with our movement. And we did. So we just did a little rope-a-dope, a little titan skate and rope-a-dope. So there might be a guy out here. There's a spawn out there. There he is. See, even right there, that man has out his Wormwood. You're in the lead. Ugh. Uh, but again, uh, Rumble's mostly sidearms. It's mostly stickies. Fast time to kill weapons. And uh, everybody's just kind of working around this ammo nerf. And uh, I'm kind of using and waiting for uh, the Icebreaker meta, because that's exactly what's getting ready to happen, guys. Um... People are going to start using Icebreaker, and you're going to start start having doing Nightfalls if you don't have Icebreaker. If you look at, like, if you look at the kill feed, that we have a Hawkmoon kill, it's dominantly sidearms. I mean, that's that's essentially what the games turn into. And it's not that they're overpowered. What's going on over here? We're getting sidearmed. And it's unfortunate that that did no damage to him. But again, it's just sidearm after sidearm after sidearm. That's not fun to me. That is not Destiny. And I am extremely elated and excited that they are f fixing it. Because there's no reason that that should be a thing. Uh, and again, I mean, there's no reason that this, quote, sidearm meta should go on for five months. Like, no. Absolutely not. Not a fan of that. Uh, we went hip fire right there for the last shot because I thought that I could get him coming in. Uh, but we're competing. And uh, as you guys can see, I mean, I'm... Landing some pretty decent shots with the Water Star. I don't mind it. But then again, I'm going up against sidearms. That was pretty crispy. I liked that. We're going to check this spawn out here. We're going to knee slide with the... We're actually going to lead this hallway with the... No, we're not. Okay, I'm gone. Stop it! Just stop it! <laughs> it's like all you hear. Alright. We're gonna try to dome this guy. Please open up. 
That's okay. Uh, we wanted to use Sun Charge. We do have our super. There's a Blade Dancer, so everybody's kind of rotating supers out. So now's the time to use Sun Charge. This Blade Dancer's behind me. Stop it! I should have just popped it right there. That, that's that's my bad. I'm not sure if I've been killed by a primary weapon. Alright, we're gonna rotate spawns. And we didn't catch anybody, so that means our last ditch effort's the guy out here, which he's not. That was a pretty decent play right there. We're gonna check outside again. Starting to have to use my icebreaker to compete, man. I know you see me. I know you see me. Oh, he ionic blink right next to it. Because you know what? Landfall is too much. It's too much. They got they gotta go ahead and nerf that. Uh Bionic Blink, I mean, I'm surprised he's using it. Nobody really uses Ionic Blink. Okay, that was a good play. Um, I felt I could have been able to recover. I died by a primary. Uh, we're gonna have heavy coming up, so I'm gonna dominantly stay, try to stay in here. I mean, that's where all the main actions is going on, and uh, try to rotate out too heavy. Such an epic sidearm battle. Heavy ammo inbound. I will body you. I don't care. Water star. Oh, why game? Why? We made good plays for that. We made really good plays for that. That guy got sidearm down. Oh, you didn't know about that angle. This guy is heavy. He's got to have heavy. Good target. That's that aim assist, man. It really slowed me down right there. Okay. I don't even, the only reason I'm grabbing that is so he, he can't cut. And he's probably going to win the game. We got to end him right now. I would imagine he's going to rotate to mid. The enemy's almost won. He's right there. I, I heard him. Bellicose. See, if, if I had a Warlock, he's going to win off a of Heavy. Look at the Nemesis Star just completely uh, doing well. Why? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Alright, this is him. I think he got the kill. Yep. You've lost, but so have others. Got a little disorient disoriented in my sun charge, but I mean, I think that we did good uh, for the type of lobby that we had. By the type of, type of lobby that we had, I mean every lobby. But I like the Water Star. Um, I got some really good uh, clutch kills, I would say. Uh, we were only a couple of kills behind. That guy just at the end just really devastated everyone with the Nemesis Star. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I mean, I tried to use my primary as much as possible and then the icebreaker because again get ready It's coming. It's kind of like the uh, the Game of Thrones, you know Icebreakers coming so I hope you guys enjoyed it Let me know down in the comment section if you guys do use these high rate of fire hand cannons uh, It's they're difficult, but the water star stands out until the next one. I am cool guy <laughs>